and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. Today it's time to do another build video. So in today's video I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, a lot of people see like <coughs> the uh, Asus Republic of Gamers as like uh, the, uh, the ultimate gamer brand and you know to be fair they sell some really good products, but are often at a premium price. So I wanted to do a ROG build, but I didn't want to break the bank doing it. So I've compromised a little bit here and there, and what I've basically done is I've utilised eBay to get second-hand parts, and bought parts on offer to do what I can to buy and build a ROG build. So without further ado, let's have a look at all the parts that I'm going to be putting in the build. So I'll go from left to right. Not an ROG product, but it's the i5. I it's actually the 10600K. So it's not what you would call a top of the line processor, but due to the nature of this build, you know, it's, it's the kind of product that will go well with this. Now here's the first um, product that I bought on eBay, which is the Maximus 7 Hero board. It's a Z490 board. Um, so when this came out, this was top of the line. So it's, it was a lot more expensive than what I paid for it on eBay. So, it, you know, it was a bit of a bargain buy. Next on the list is the memory. Again, not ROG, but if you're going to put anything in an ROG type build, which has got RGB all over it, you want RGB memory. So I went for some Corsair Vengeance Pro. Next, we've got the uh, cooler. Now, this is a ROG LC2 280 uh, ARGB cooler. So it's a 280, so it's two 140 fans cooler so that should be more than adequate for the i5 10600 you could argue it's overkill next is the other part that i bought from ebay it's a nvidia gtx 1080 it's uh, another asus rog you can see and it's not the latest generation of graphics but it was pretty cheap on ebay so i thought why not I'll snap it up it fits in with the rog the last of the rog parts that i've got is the power supply, which is the 4850. I did an unboxing video on that. Um, one of the things I didn't mention in that video actually is because of the way the display is on this, I'm gonna have to have the, the PSU the wrong way round so the fan will go into the case. To be fair with the parts I've got here, I don't think that they'll, they'll be taxing the PSU too much. So I don't think that'll be too much of an issue. I don't see this getting too hot anytime too soon. The last part I'm going to uh, look at is the case, which is the Montec X3. Jace Two Sense did a video on this case. This is probably the biggest point of compromise in the build that I've got. It's not the best case in the world. The build quality is not that great, but you know what it's got? It's got a lot of RGB. So this is going to fit really well with the whole uh, Republic of Gamers RGB blast thing. So I think it's going to do well. All right, so they're the parts. Without further ado, I'll do the old build montage and then I'll come back at the end with my general thoughts and conclusions on the build, you know, the case and everything else and how it went. All right, on with the build.
So the, the build is finished. As you can see, I've gone for a red colour scheme. A uh, couple of things of note. Firstly, you'll notice in the, the GPU that the actual uh, RGB doesn't go all the way down. With it being a second hand GPU, I think that the actual tube that runs down the actual graphics card, uh, which the light shines down, I think it's hardened up. So it just needs to be replaced, it's not a big deal. Uh, on terms of the PSU, um, as people would have pointed out with the um, the four power supply, the orientation means that if you want the numbers on the on the power usage the right way, you've got to basically flip the PSU so the fan is coming will put hot air into the case. However, because this is such a high level at 850 PSU and the components aren't really going to get close to that, I don't think that's going to necessarily be a problem. The uh, the, uh, the cooler went in no problem. As you can see, we've got the radiator this side. I had to put the fans on the outside and you can see the, red, the lit red as well. They're the, uh, they're the 140 fans. Uh, I had, I've got three uh, fans here. These are the thermal right fans that I bought from Amazon when they're on sale recently. So I put those in as well. Look at the two sticks of ramen. So the build went well. I think it looks pretty nice. The, you know, all in all, I think it went pretty well. All right, now I've had a quick look at the uh, build. I'm going to give you my final thoughts and conclusion. So as you can see, I've left the uh, glass door off for the build. Um, so what are my final thoughts on the actual build? Um, the Montec X3 case. It's actually not too bad for the price you pay for it. It's a very budget orientated case, but it wasn't too bad. Couple of things that really stuck out for me. The fans they provide work off Molinex power, so there's no control to them. So I would rather have no fans than those fans. So the long, one of the things that took me the longest was taking all of those fans out. I, had to, I couldn't use any of them, but basically I've thrown them away. They're terrible. So Montec, instead of throwing them in, just put maybe two fans in or even one fan in. I'd rather have that than the ones that you left in there. They were terrible. Um, the other point is the room at the back for cable management isn't the largest. So just be aware that you need to really concentrate on your cable management so you don't get too much bulge so the case will then close. But other than that, it's okay. It's a little bit on the slim side. This is a 1080, which is not the newest of GPUs, and it's also not the largest of GPUs. Yet, as you can see, it's very, very close to the radiator, so uh, space in there was really tight. Uh, everything else, though, was fine. Um, you know, there was good holes for the for the graphics card cables. Get putting in the um, main power was easy. The the CPU power cables went in okay. So all in all, the build went pretty well. So from a, from a case point of view, would I recommend the Monta X3? I think there's better cases out there, but it's not that bad. All the rest of the parts have gone really well. The graphics card, even though it's second hand, is working fine. The CPU that I bought, the 1060K, has been great in this. The second-hand motherboard, I had worries about it because when I bought it, it came in its original box, but the CPU cover wasn't there, so I was worried about bent pins. But I've had no issues whatsoever with the uh, with the CPU, so that's been fine. So all in all, it's been pretty good. So I hope you like... What, what are your thoughts on the build? What do you think? Do you think it's good? If you've got any questions on it or anything else, please leave a comment down below. I tend to respond to comments pretty quickly. If you like the actual video and the build itself, please don't forget to toss a like on the video. It helps with the old YouTube algorithm. If you like my video, and also if you please go and watch all of my other videos, and please, if you could, go and subscribe. Subscribers are always welcome. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon, because then you'll be notified of videos when they come out. I don't release the videos very regularly. I try and do once a month, so you'll get a notification when it comes out, which will help myself, and also you'll be able to view the content. And that's it. Have a great day, I will see you soon, and take care.